All right, digital multimedia, second, third, and sixth hours. Uh, I have a project pre project presentation. I'm going to learn how to talk here. Um, that I wish I could be in class in person doing this, but unfortunately, um, some things uh, happen to just spring up out of nowhere, a little emergency, and unfortunately, I have to do this virtually and explain everything to you um, in hopes that you guys uh, can not lose any days here on the whole production end of this and get started as soon as possible. So um, I'm going to try to do this uh, a fast and easy way so you don't have to sit here and uh, listen to my voice in stereo um, and get some time to work today in, in class um, and uh, be able to kind of start making some decisions uh, so that when I return you guys are already on, uh, on a good path and I'm just kind of coming in and doing a little bit of housekeeping. So uh, with that said, um, if you're watching this video, then obviously you got to the link that's located on Edmodo, and I think this is a good place to start. Um, in this uh, demonstration, or in this little video, I'm sorry, presentation that I'm going to be making here, I'm going to be cruising through this slide presentation, which is actually linked in the help folder directly below this, or possibly above it. I can't remember how Edmodo actually organizes it, but I'm not going to take a whole bunch of time going through and explaining every little slide. As usual, I always start off with some sort of slide that describes the overall meaning of the project, uh, the whole point, the purpose, because over the course of a few years, I've walked through the, uh, the aisleways or through that end of the classroom where you guys are at and overheard students from time to time t asking each other, what's the whole point of us doing this? Why are we even doing this? Well, in this slide, it basically explains why you are doing this project. And like I said, I'm not going to read this for you guys. You guys can do this on your own, but the point of this project is directly here, printed in very nice font with a very ugly yellowish green color. Sorry about that. Okay, let's move on to what you guys need to focus on here, the project requirements. Now again, I'm not going to go through each and every one of these things, but I do think that there is some information here that you absolutely need to be aware of. I've got my handy dandy little red pointer here that I'm going to kind of go over each one of these and make sure that you guys understand. So first of all, number one, you need to use the teacher supplied template. Use the document, the Photoshop document that I am providing for you guys. Now, it is in my hope that the computer that I'm working on right now saves it as the right format, but I did notice that an error was popping up on it. So please refer to the Photoshop document that's in the help folder. But if for some reason you cannot get that up and working, I will provide the information, the necessary information for creating your own document with the measurements that I specifically had in this, this first file that for some reason might not be working. So stay tuned to that um, in the next couple of minutes to make sure that the file actually is working. Now, uh, requirement number two, choose an athlete, celebrity, or musician. This is important because I didn't want to just make you guys pick one specific thing over the other. I've given this analogy about English classes having to write on the same topic, and this is the same way. I want you guys to have a little bit of freedom here. So I want you guys to be picking from one of the three options that I gave you, okay? Again, one of the three, either an athlete or a celebrity or a musician, and create an appropriate advertisement that shows a specific product or event being announced or endorsed by that individual, all right? So whether you're choosing an athlete, a celebrity, or a musician, you'll be creating an advertisement for something that they're known for. Uh, that might be a product, or it might be an event that they're, they're, they're catering to or that they're starring in. Now, we have used a variety in uh, requirement number three, a variety of different Photoshop effects, downloading custom fonts, and using photos, uh, I'm sorry, photo brushes, uh, special effect brushes that you can download off the internet. You will either need to use the custom text brush demonstration that we chose or that we did in class last week, or the custom photo brush demonstration that we did and that you guys just had a quiz with with the Nike Air Max advertisement campaign project um, or quiz um, to, to replicate or to do this project in. One of the two is what you guys need to focus on. 
um, and that new digital image will be done using these uh, these different methods in hopes that you guys can master those uh, different types of techniques and creating in creating a powerful and unique image. Now, obviously, I want to spend some time here on requirement number four because the word appropriately is underlined. This is really important because this word gets confused a lot. So before I read through this, I actually am going to refer to the next slide. Things I want you guys to think about. The word or the term appropriate gets used a lot in the requirements. And I think from a student side, this is something that is uh, absolutely misunderstood. Look, I printed out or typed out four specific things that over the course of the last few years, I've seen people run into. Familiarize your si yourselves excuse me, with this slide and these four bulleted images because what this will do is explain a little bit more what I'm trying to get at in this fourth requirement. But basically, the fourth requirement revolves around you guys having a finished product that appropriately with images, effects, and text creates an advertisement based on what this thing is all about, what this project is all about with the proper imagery attached to it. That will need absolutely no further explanation by you, the designer, as to what it is you're trying to get across message-wise with your artwork. Matter of fact, if I skip back over to this additional slide, um, at the bottom of this, I kind of put as a paragraph to, to get some feedback from your peers or from me when I return. Don't let this be something that for the course, the better part of a week, you guys just think and assume that everything's okay and everything's working out the right way and come to find out the image that you made makes absolutely no sense. Look, I know that athletes and celebrities live multiple different lives and they've got their their hands in many different uh, uh, things out there, right? But it doesn't really make a lot of sense to take an athlete and advertise a world tour that they're going on or take a musician and talk about a brand new product like uh, a pair of shoes that they wear on stage. It just doesn't make a ton of sense. So these things should be appropriately done. An athlete in something athletic or a celebrity endorsing something that a celebrity would endorse like a product or possibly a movie premiere or TV show. And a musician or a group, a musical band could be uh, promoting like a world tour or a new album that's coming out. These things should appropriately be done. Now to wrap this all up, the last slide here revolves around the deadline for this project. And this is one thing that you guys are going to want to pay a little bit of attention to. The deadline for this project is next Wednesday, November 21st. It's a half day. Matter of fact, it's the closing of the progress report period. So while you guys go away for Thanksgiving break to take a nice long weekend, I'm going to be sitting here going through your guys' projects, making sure that you guys have maximized as many points as you possibly can. So those of you guys who have some lower grades right now, this is a great opportunity to boost those grades back up. And those of you guys who already have high grades, an opportunity to either get them higher or um, sustain what you guys got and reassure yourself that you're on the right path. Regardless, I will talk to you guys about this little added bonus down here for some extra credit on putting your stuff on social media, but I don't want to waste more, more time than I've already done here with this explanation. So I'm going to sign off here. I'm going to give you guys some time to go through everything, unpack the whole help folder, and hopefully you guys will have some questions for me when I return and we can jump into this uh, running and you guys can start off or end this last uh, card marking with uh, a good note, a high note here. All right. So see you guys when I return. Bye.